Welcome back to Lost Odyssey. I am Chocolate Milk, and we are still in the inn. If you try to leave the inn, the innkeeper will tell you that there's no messages. But that doesn't really matter, because we will be fixing that momentarily. Before we go to Gungora's mansion, we're just going to head to the south here, where we get kind of a little scene with this interesting character here, who appears to be following us. And I think he's pretty stupid for falling into a back alley, but wait, 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 that's just go. me. My throat! My throat! Damn! Why are you following me? You, you're, you're Kaim Argonar. I, I mean, Lord Gangora asked me to do it. But he can't be that evil because he was sent by Gangora. I'm supposed to tell you to go to his manor. Who we are supposed to actually go and visit? And if you, you don't trigger this scene, you actually can't get into Gungor's mansion at all. <coughs> Jansen, messenger for Lord Gungora, <laughs> at your service. And this character reveals that his name is Jansen. And we will be hearing from Jansen a lot later. What an attitude. He and he's with. probably <laughs> one of the most interesting characters that you will ever come across. I'll just leave it at that for now. Uh, before I go to the mansion, though, there's a few last things I'm going to do. I calibrated my TV so I can actually look out a bit more for stuff that I've missed along the alleyway here. I'm probably still missing some stuff, but for now, that's fine. Um, if we go back to the tavern here, we can actually trigger some more dreams. Now this guy here is a soldier who's still alive, just like us. And he'll give us a dream that I'm going to put in another video. And this dream is called A Hero's Return. And the reason that you want to do these dreams is because they are worth achievements, is the main reason. And then also they're just kind of cool to read sometimes if you want um, some backstory into things that Kaim has seen in his immortality. If you leave the tavern and come back and then you go back upstairs, the guys at the first table will also give you a scene or a dream, sorry. Uh, this one's about prison, actually, which I guess it wouldn't surprise me if you've been alive for a thousand years. And this dream is in the mind of a captive, which again will be put in another video. And I think that's it for Verno's Tavern for now, because we already went and looted the whole place the first time that we were here. And then as we go, we're just gonna hear a rumor, or a gossip between some people over here, which isn't news to us, but I suppose Kaim hearing it, like Kaim himself, hasn't heard it, so it's kind of, I don't know, foreshadowing for him. If that makes any sense. Uh, there's more stuff to loot in this area, of course. This is a, this is a playground area. And uh, there's also another dream to trigger here, which I'll be doing after I make sure I've got everything. And it's a little girl over here. And uh, there seems to be a lot of dreams now, but they do kind of dissipate as you get on in the story, and they become a little bit harder to find, of course. But Aura being the kind of starting area of the game, I think they just get you, get you used to picking up items and picking up on dreams and things like that. So I'm just going to continue looting as we go on our way here. There's some pots there we can loot. 
And that guy in the carriage on the right, by the way, um, acts as a shortcut. You can talk to him, and he he can take you to other places in Aura. But that's more for a return trip that we'll be doing way, way, way later on. But if you feel like you've missed anything, you can talk to him if you'd like. Lots more seeds, which are important. Those also dissipate later on and become a lot harder to find, naturally. And we're done. So, when we get to Gungor's mansion, although we have permission to enter, we can't enter yet. If you go up to the door, it won't open. Talk to the guard. And the guard will tell you that someone named Lord Tolton is visiting. So you'll get some dialogue um, between Tolton and Gongora, and this kind of just shadows more of the story, as well as how they met. And I didn't take the loading screen out, I don't know why I didn't do that. Sorry. House arrest is going too far. I have firmly opposed Roxian on this. Do not despair, Gongora. Thank you, Your Majesty. And assuming that Gungora is kissing his ass, ass, calling him Your, your Majesty, uh, it sounds like Tolton is next in line to be king, so I am a that's a pretty like important job. I am no longer Your Majesty. I respect the royal blood that flows in your veins. It is only fitting that I offer the respect you're due. Do not be foolish. People will think you're a dissident who wants to restore the monarchy. I'm truly happy that you have come to see me. You've always been so kind. You taught me the rules. And then this of is basically just going over I how they met. Help but be kind to you in return. I cannot understand all Roxy. that fun stuff, I and then back to the important part, staff. which is Grand Staff. It makes me angry, Gongora. Our entire nation which is, is what the story has been loosely ends. based around so Yet far. He does not understand the significance of Grand Staff. If we can increase magic energy with Grand Staff, just think how much better our people's lives would be. We would no longer need soldiers. Apparently Grand Staff is a good Aura, thing, and so... How Grand Staff can make it happen. Tolton's freaking out over there. Is too narrow for our nation to grow. I am sorry you had to witness that. There is no need to apologize. I'm happy your highness understands. But even if they stop Grand Staff, we could develop a newer and far better magic engine. Please let me know what you need, Gongora. I can help you. I am unworthy, your blah, highness. Blah, 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 back on the knee, kissing ass, and they're done. Okay, so... Tolton's carriage is ready to take him away. In a very prince-like fashion. Slow-mo! And I'm sure we'll be hearing more from Mr. Your Majesty later on. But for now, we're going to go into Gungora's mansion, finally. Thank you very much. And continue on our way here. So, the door on the left and the door on the right in the hallway both lead to the same room. So it doesn't matter which one you go in. I'm just going to go on the right door here if I can get in. Thank you. It's kind of finicky sometimes to get into doors and things. Uh, the first pot, or barrel, is a seed, and there's one more on the other side of the room here that we can grab. And before you go to the left of the room, which is where Gongora is, we're just going to take the northern door over here, and we're going to continue looting him for all that he's got. There's three chests in this area, so open them all, and then you can actually get a secret hidden fourth chest as well that you don't want to miss before you leave. Alright, after you've picked up those three chests, go up to the block behind the second chest and pull it towards you until Kaim's kind of uh, squished in between the box and the treasure chest, and then you can walk behind the boxes. Oh, secrets, how I love you. There we go. And then we can go in. 
And then we can go to the left. We gotta go around the magic energy machine thingy though. And before we can go see Gungora, he's gonna go on about um, that woman who I assume he's referring to um, Seth when he says that. Which is kind of fishy. Good, you're here. I ask you here for only one reason. <laughs> I just laugh because it's just like, it's just Hold like a on. serious, intense moment, and then what is you it? can see Jansen's arm over there. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, oh crap! Oh, great. Here he comes. oh, almost get stabbed." Hey, hey, uh, whoa, see what whoa, I mean whoa, hey, by Jansen hey, just really like, like lightens hey, up sword, the whole okay? mood Easy. of everything. Why are you here? I told you I'm just a messenger. I, I came to see if you really come or not, which you have. So that's good. But uh, Gungora assures us that Jansen isn't side. evil and he is on our side, so at least we don't have to fear him. Late, Although he's not much him. to fear in the first place. And he has many connections. I want you to oh, and good news, we'll be taking him with us. No way, Yay! Kaim seems you know incredibly thrilled <laughs> about that. His shoes. Hello. <laughs> and so is Jansen, Look, apparently. This, the this is gonna be fun. She might be dangerous. Why? The woman was once a pirate. I don't know Let me get a nice happened, she's now a back shot of army. Seth here. Well, the, past the video pass, game wouldn't be complete without her. that. Take Jensen with you. He can help keep her in check. Despite what else he may be. <laughs> and, uh... <clears throat> another thing about Jensen, so, uh, as you can you tell, is that he is a notorious right? womanizer. Okay, okay, be that which way. Which is hard. basically pirate. The way you can sum up Jansen in one word. All right, understood. All right then, I'll be there early. Oh yeah, you can count on it. Remember, Kaim, you're the only one I can trust. I can't leave here for a while. The Grand Staff is my life's work. So if something is wrong, I want you, with your immortal powers, to find out what it is. Understood? You'll be briefed later. You should and go And we've just been sent on our next mission, which is to go to Grand Staff, ready, obviously, which was kind of given to us by Roxian, but... Oh, he's gonna be fun to work with. This we will be meeting up trouble. with uh, Jansen later. Wow. Nice. You know, my lord, I've been thinking, uh, working with this guy, uh, it's like playing with fire. I mean, did you see his eyes? I mean, that's creepy. I got a bad feeling about this whole thing. I mean, this little guarantee is not going to be enough, I'm afraid, to keep an eye on him. You're going to have to give me a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? And this scene here between under a magic contract. these two guys kind of makes you wonder. About everything that's going on. Okay, that's some serious mojo, buddy. Easy, easy. Is your fee still unsatisfactory? Okay, not funny. I'm not laughing, okay? I didn't stick my neck out for this. Oh, okay? the questions. Jeez, everyone's a pain in the ass. But anyways, the that scene is over, and the video is pretty much over. So I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.